Minecraft mods. So we're going to show you how to get them in this video, but first you need to decide on what mod loader you want. Now we're going to be using Forge for this video, but Fabric is also super popular. It's basically two major Minecraft mod loaders, Fabric and Forge. Like I said, we're going to be using Forge, but Fabric is super popular as well. And there is an in-depth guide on getting Fabric mods, if the mods you want are Fabric, in the description down below. There's also Neo Forge, and Neo Forge split off from the Forge mod loader and created the Neo Forge project. It is completely separate, and Neo Forge mods do not work on Forge, so keep that in mind. The mods that you have must be compatible with the mod loader that you're using. So go ahead and figure out what mods you want, then choose the mod loader you want. Like I said, for this video, we're gonna be using Forge. Fabric is also really good. Neo Forge is great as well. Just pick the one that most of your mods are compatible for, and you might have to leave a few mods behind if they're not on the mod loader that most of your other mods do work on. Like I said though, for this video, we're gonna be using Forge. I'm sorry it's confusing. I wish it was simpler as well, but Forge is linked in the description down below, and when you click that, it'll take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Forge. It's super comprehensive, and we're gonna be going over most of this in this video, but we can't get to all the troubleshooting steps and things like that if you run into issues, so that's why this is really here to help you out. Nonetheless, once you're here, click on Download Forge, and it will take you to Forge's official download page. On this page, we wanna click 1.21, and then click 1.21 again. And then once you see MC or Minecraft 1.21 here, we can go ahead and download Forge. This is done by clicking on installer, but do not click anything on this page. Just put your hands in the air, wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right. Go ahead and click that red skip button. And when you do, it's gonna prompt you to download Forge if it doesn't start downloading Forge right away. As long as Forge is in the title, you're gonna go ahead and save or keep the file depending on your browser. And while this is downloading, how to message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out if you have any issues along the way. So check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now you have Forge downloaded, you probably want to download some mods too though, and that's 100% understandable. So in the description, we have links to CurseForge and Moderinth. These are two of the most popular Minecraft mod websites where the mods can actually be trusted as well. They check everything and all that before they actually put them on their website. So as you can see, we've got tons of stuff here. The biggest thing is you can sort these by mod loader. As I said, the mod loader that you're using has to be the same one that the mod's made for. So we can go into Forge in this case, and then it also has to be for the same Minecraft version, so 1.21 all of these mods would work with this video. And you can do the same on Moderinth. You can come over here and search for Forge, and then you can search for 1.21. There it is, all the 1.21 mods that work with Forge. If you had a Fabric mod, you could do this with Fabric. If you had NeoForge, you could do it with NeoForge. It really just depends on what the mod loader you're using is and what mods you want with that mod loader. But nevertheless, we are going to be installing Tree Harvester. Tree Harvester is a super popular mod, but one thing to watch out for when you're installing mods is this requires the library mod collective. Some people call them library mods. Some people call them compatibility mods. Some people call them core mods. They're mods that are needed in order for another mod to work. Tree Harvester needs the collective mods. We want to make sure that we get that before, you know, we install Tree Harvester. Otherwise, we would install Tree Harvester and it wouldn't work. So let's go ahead and click on Files here. And we want to make sure that we're getting the 1.21 version for Forge. Now, Tree Harvester is unique in that one file works for every mod loader, which is great to see and I hope more mods implement this. But as you can see, this one right here works for everything. So we can click the three dots and click Download. That'll then download. And when it does, we can move on to getting the collective mod. Collective is the same way. We can come in here to Files and it works for every single single mod loader on this one version for 1.21. Click the three dots and click download. And then last but not least, we'll go ahead and grab the simple voice chat mod. The reason I'm grabbing this, well, because if we go into versions here, we can see this has different versions for every single mod loader. Fabric has a version, Forge has a version, NeoForge has a version. Every mod loader has their different version, all for 1.21. So we wanna go ahead and make sure we set that up. So we wanna make sure we're getting Forge and then 1.21 and there it is. This is the one we want. Click the download button there. Now, once we're in game, simple voice chat actually won't work because we're just gonna be going into single player and this is a server mod, even though it does need to be installed locally as well. I just wanted to show you that because it does have all of these different versions and it's cool to make sure that we get the right one. Nevertheless, we're gonna go ahead and minimize our browser and drag all of these mods and files to our desktop. So right here they are, they're in my downloads folder. They'll be wherever your files typically download to and we can drag them all to our desktop. There's Forge and that means this is all of our mods. Let's go ahead and start off by installing Forge. Right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click okay. But what if you don't have Java? Or what if you do, 
You click OK and it doesn't work. Well, as of Minecraft 1.21, you need a new version of Java. So if one's listed here, it's probably the wrong version if it doesn't work. And that means you need to get Java 21. Java 21 for Minecraft 1.21. And it's linked in the description down below with an in-depth guide, video, text, and the download here to make sure you can get it installed. We also have the jar fix. This allows you to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we can open up Forge by again, right clicking on it, clicking open with Java and clicking OK. Then the Forge installer will open. All we need to do now is make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed. Click install client and click OK. The reason this could fail from this point is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21 before. You have to open up Minecraft 1.21 to the main menu without any mods, just in vanilla Minecraft. And then once it's opened up, you can close out of it, come back and Forge will install. But as you can see, successfully installed client profile Forge. Click OK and it will close out of that and we can delete Forge from our desktop. Now let's get our Minecraft mods installed. By the way, getting Forge, in my opinion, is the hard part. Getting your mods installed is the easy part. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher. And in the Minecraft launcher, what we want to do is click on Installations. And then we want to make sure that we have this Forge installation. If you don't, make sure Modded is checked. As you can see, if it's not checked, it's not there. If you click Modded, there it is. And it is 1.20.1 Forge. You're going to click play and click play again if that's the case. If you don't have Forge here or not the right version of Forge, click new installation. You can insert whatever you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then click the versions drop down here. Then you want to select release 1.21 Forge. You might have to scroll to find yours, but here's mine. Select that, and then we can go ahead and create the installation. Now, we want to go ahead and play Minecraft using Forge. So click play, click play again, either on the one you created or the one that's there by default, as long as it's the right version. Then, from the Minecraft main menu, what we want to do is go ahead and click on Mods here. Then we want to click Open Mods folder in the bottom left, and then drag and drop any Minecraft mods you want to install, as long as, in this case, they're for Forge 1.21 and you're good to go. You're done. All your mods are installed. So we've got Collective, Tree Harvester, Voice Chat for Forge 1.21, and we're done. Now, they're not in Minecraft, though, and that's because we actually need to quit the game and then reopen up the Minecraft launcher. Then once we've reopened the Minecraft launcher, what we'll want to do is play Minecraft again using our Forge installation or the one that we created. Now, when we launch into Minecraft, we will be able to create a new world or go into an existing world Whichever one you want to do, just keep in mind that if you go into a world with mods, generally you have to keep those mods to keep playing that world without any like corruptions or anything like that. We will be able to use our mods. Now, Simple Voice Chat we actually won't be able to use because it's a server mod, but what we can use is Tree Harvester. So in order to do that, we want to get ourselves an axe here. And then obviously, um, I'm in creative, so we'll need to go into survival. And then we can just hold shift and break the bottom block. And there we go. Trees falling down to the ground, right like so, instantly. Love to see it. So which mod are you going to be installing after this video? Let us know in the comments. And if we were able to help you out, give the video a thumbs up. We'll see you for the next one. I am out. Peace.